Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you was to search through my channel, you will find loads of unboxing of handbags um, videos. Since I've had this channel, I've, I've always unboxed them on camera. It's been my thing. So today, I am here to show you, in 2018, what handbags I owned. I did this video last year, so if you can go back and check it out, see what handbags have changed, see what I've added. I love handbags. I'm not a person for keeping handbags though. I I have a few and they are expensive. They're not ridiculously expensive. They're 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 doable. <laughs> that is my mine and my partner's answer to things. You walk around Harrods, you see a clock that's four hundred pounds. It's doable. You see a clock for four thousand pounds. For me personally, though, no, that's never gonna happen. So all my handbags are affordable if you save hard enough. Now I'm gonna go through them all. There is one bag in here that I do not have with me and that is because it is in my suitcase in the loft and that is my beach bag. You know, if I get a clip, I'll put a picture in here somewhere here. I bought a Ted Baker flip-flop um, beach bag set. Now what I will say is they're the, you know, the plastic cheap square shopper bags that they do. I call them cheap, they're not cheap, they're like 40 pounds, but compared to a Ted Baker handbag, they're quite cheap. I did, it's not a square, it's a rectangle, and it's the best thing I've ever brought for going on holiday, let me tell you. You get sand in it, you just tip it upside down and empty it out, you get seawater on it, you just wipe it off, it's nothing. A drink leaks in it, your sun cream leaks in it, just wipe it out, it's the best thing I've ever brought. They're a nightmare to keep the shape, but they are amazing. And that is in the loft, so sorry I couldn't show you that. So, sticking with the Ted Baker theme, my only Ted Baker handbag that I own is this ditched beautiful thing. So, excuse the Kath Kidston tag coming out. This is my Ted Baker work bag. Yes, I've got a Ted Baker bag and I use it for work. It is covered in dirt. It is ditched at the bottom because I lob it in my locker. There's no feet to this bag. It's very soft, it's very squidgy. And yeah, this costs new 160 pounds. I know that's quite expensive for a handbag, people may think, but once again, maybe when I buy my next handbag, because there's always another one coming, I may pick one and sell one uh, that I don't really use. I try to keep a different range of bags, so I have, for an instance, small bags, large bags, everyday bags, um, just size wise because they're because if I have two huge bags, what do I need two huge bags for? I'm not going to use two at the same time and Yeah, I'm mad. You'll realize this as <laughs> you come to it. So this is my Ted Baker There is an unboxing video on this on my channel somewhere Go check it out if you'd like to. Next we're going to go on to Michael Kors. I have two Michael Kors bags I'm going to show you this one first. This is my small Michael Kors bag it is beautiful. I didn't show you inside the other one, by the way, because it's full of everything in my life. This is, it has a pocket at the back. It has this gorgeous big buckle. I do like the Michael Kors logo. Um, I got this as a gift. And I do lo I love the big buckle. When you open the bag, I have the body strap inside. Unfortunately, you can take the strap off which i have learned you just pull it out which i absolutely love those sorts of designs so if you don't want the full body strap you can the side buttons open up which i also love i don't know why i love that let me just take the strap out and inside you have three card slots your main pouch and then a smaller pouch at the front i'm just going to pop that strap back inside i keep the straps inside the bags i don't know why i really don't know why and then i like to just fasten the sides up as well so yes this is my across it is a small bag it is across the body and it is also a clutch bag so depending on what sort of outfit you are wearing this looks quite nice with it but i do also have a small clutch bag that's just plain black that goes with pretty much everything but yes i do like this i love this color i feel like i need a handbag in this color but that might be the next one the next michael kors bag i have is what I class as, you're gonna think I'm nuts, my everyday bag. It's what I'm not aware of. This is it. There is an unboxing video of this one on my channel. I love this. It is big enough to store all sorts of, this is it next to my head. It is big enough to store everything in. And you open it up, it has a phone 
charging blocking uh, tissue there's a small pocket at the front and a zip pocket at the back can you see that in there i love the color of this bag my only downfall to this bag oh there's pockets at the back as well by the way for quick convenience so once again you can take the body strap off you can carry it as a bag or you can wear it across your body i love this bag my downfall to these bags is these tags now i'm all up for a michael kors beautiful tag if i just pull it up you can see the whole mk logo it is gorgeous i love it but it's fraying at the top and because of where it's situated it doesn't matter where you clip it as soon as you open up your bag and put your lid back down it's gone you have to flick it around and nine times out of ten when you flick it back around it comes around the wrong way um it has absolutely had it that little tag has but i keep it on because it's my cause and it has feet um it still has the same pressed on the sides to trim your bag in a little bit when it's not so full and i love it this is my everyday bag i believe if i get another ridiculously expensive handbag oh sorry i didn't tell you so the price of the other my course ones i'm not too sure because it was bought as a gift this one retails at 260 pounds new um sometimes you'll find it in the sale sometimes you won't i don't think i've found this in the sale um but no i love my course i love every single detail on my course bags um you get the little michael cause logo across your little buckle straps on your little clips i love i'm a sucker for detail and i absolutely love it and that is my michael cause handbag <laughs> on to kate spade so i had a question on my channel and i'm gonna try my best to answer it for you it was a while ago this is jensen I'm sure that's what it was called. I'm sure it was Jensen. This is my large bag. I absolutely love this. This is from Kate Spade. Once again, tags. I don't get the point of this. Tag got Kate Spade on. It's just uh, random. I keep them on because it came with a bag, but I just I don't get it. So this one has large pockets on either side and a huge pocket in the middle. I'm not typically because it's got loads of bits in. And it has two decent pockets and a zip pocket at the back. So this is also an unboxing on my channel this one is massive it has feet i love the color of this this one is called punch i am under the impression they no longer sell this color this big enough to fit a laptop in that's how big it is okay i love it it's just amazing <sighs> this is my go into the cinema bag yeah you know what i mean fill it up with all your sweets that's what this bag is this is my going out with my daughter for the day bag because i can fill it with toys it's i just i love it it's not too big but by the time you filled it it's too heavy it's just absolutely beautiful and i love it so much this one retails <coughs> around 340 pounds yes i paid that much for it it was my birthday tree i walked into the kate spade shop it was my first ever kate spade handbag i fell in love and slowly but surely my bags are moving to kate spade i don't tend to look anywhere else for a handbag if i decide i want a new handbag if i decide that she needs a bright yellow bag she's going to kate spade i don't know i just i love it i love it and once again cameron street collection i love the stripes okay so the next bag i got was for my 30th birthday and that is this bad boy i love this i class her as little kate i'm not too sure of her name uh, no it's lottie it's lottie um yeah this one's lottie so i didn't actually pick i picked the style of the bag i picked lottie i didn't however pick the color i picked quite a few colors and said these are the ones i like like i like the turquoise color and i like the plain black and there was others and there was quite a few variations of pink however this is like a pinky reddy color to me somebody has asked me on my side on my channel what color this is and for the love of money i'm so sorry darling i don't actually know um and i asked my partner and well he just was like i just picked one who are you kidding so if you know what the punch color looks like that is them together so this is like a hot barbie pink color class up this is more on the red side but it's definitely a deep pink going into the red family if that makes sense it's definitely not red but it's definitely not pink either as you can tell i love
love Kate Spade handbags. Can you tell? Can you tell? I don't know where you get so okay. Right. So this also comes with your full body cross bag. It's is shaped like this it has feet once again i'm a sucker for detailing i love it when kate spade has little logos i just oh i love it oh the book that my friend bought me i absolutely love this it says parenting a typical day stop throwing no fighting i can't take this anymore i love you so much i might die hooray virgin okay so that's in there so this one has loads of pockets one that you can fasten one that you can't it has two deep pockets it has a zip pocket inside it is amazing i absolutely love this bag because you know sometimes when i go out i'm like really spoiled for choice i'm like which bag because i feel i have one large too small the work bag don't count because it's small it's got to be crammed in a locker and it's not small small it's not a clutch bag and i have two everyday average sizes so i have to like fight between this one Ah, my Michael. <laughs> Michael is a little bit smaller, but he's not a lot smaller. I just, oh. they kind of have names. Is this weird? So for an instance, Ted is my work bag. So I just clap, shout my work bag. You know, if I'm like upstairs, I need something. So I have two clutch bags. I have Michael, I have Kate. I have Big Kate. <laughs> and then I have, I actually class her as Lottie so I have Lottie and Kate but he doesn't really get who Lottie is I'm like the medium Kate so yeah he's Michael she's big Kate this is Lottie I've got little Kate and I've got little Michael as well and my last handbag in this collection <gasps> I could you know if I sold some things that I like if I could get full price for things that I've brought I swear to god right <laughs> I would just I won't be rich and um, I won't be able to pay my house off, but I'd be pretty damn close. This is Little Kate. This is my newest collection to my handbag family. And she is a clutch bag. I absolutely love her. Every woman needs the perfect little black bag. And to me, this one is perfect. It comes with card slots at the front, card slots at the back. There is enough room in there to fit. Can you tell that I like the stripes? That is the Cameron Street collection. I love the stripes the stripes are in everything i own i'm just obsessed um i absolutely love kate spade and i love this bag i like the fact that it comes with a full body cross or a cross body strap it has a little gold chain on the bottom half of it and what i love even more is the fact that this can be removed so if i want to go out just for the night with my little black bag as a clutch bag i can do that and i absolutely love it for that reason <sighs> She's the newest edition. She's baby Kate. <laughs> I love her so much. I love all my handbags. The, if I had to rank them, I honestly couldn't. Kate's would definitely be first. Then it'd be Michael's. I'm sorry, Ted. Ted was my first ever true designer love, I guess. And I started buying more and more and more. And obviously then I would sell them to pay towards the, my new ones because with them being designer, if you keep them in good condition, you can usually get the minimum of half of your money back that's what I'm finding anyway so I sell them and then obviously that half goes towards a new one so my new bags don't tend to cost me that much money yeah I love them I got a Teddy's definitely the next one out hey hey I'm so sorry Teddy's that if I buy another handbag I have a little table and I have all my handbags proudly displayed on this table but if I get a new bag and it doesn't fit one has to go and unfortunately Ted will be next. I know. Welcome to the crazy world in my head. I'm so sorry. But yes, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please click that subscribe button. One will appear just here. Click over in the top corner, check out one of my latest videos, and click over in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another, another, another video. And Bye-bye.